Hey YouTube, MP in Northern California, it's still January 30th, 2019, a Wednesday. I was on a three-way phone call last night with some brothers and sisters in New York. Their channel is called Grafted In. And somehow, about 45 minutes into the conversation, it popped up. And, and they do comment on here and make their own videos. It did pop up that I'd had this dream about Donald Trump's older sister. I was warning that she was in danger. And I was having them try to look up uh, where that courthouse was located. Because we were talking about specific areas of New York we thought might be under a threat and in danger. And, and then my mind just clicked. And so I have found this video now. I'm just going to continue to share these messages because I've went months and months without any prophetic revelation. And then all of a sudden this stuff's coming hourly. So obediently I know I'm to share this. So I'm going to share. I just keep sharing them, amen. It's what I do, amen. Please like it, share it, and let's get these messages out. This is... This is very serious stuff we're dealing with here. I did find that video today. And believe it or not, it was from February 19th, 2016, long before, several months before, Trump was even elected. And you remember, the majority of people assumed Hillary Clinton would just win. I almost think that that was their plan to have Hillary win, and uh, and God changed their plan and appointed a, a different leader over America. That That's what I believe, okay? So, but this, this warning now is very serious because flash forward to 2019, New York is in dire danger over this uh, new law to allow full-term abortions up to, up to full-term nine months with no uh w with with no reason given so here's the thumbnail of this video it's trump's entire family up here uh, this is jared kushner right here next to ivanka so on on the the podium i guess while he's running for election he's not president so this post date was from march 22nd 2016 so almost three years ago and there's some links to it that I want to show you. But I had Facebook in 2016. I no longer do. And I was recording the original warning dream to Facebook, which I no longer have or have access to. And so I'm just going to play that three-minute part of the, the dream or something. We'll go forward to it. As a matter of fact, let me just pause here and key it up. So you're looking at a screenshot of a, a video I had uploaded requesting prayer for federal and state buildings and judges in New York. And if you notice over here, one of the tabs is the Chrysler building. And the information is simply mind blown on this dream. So let's go to the audio again. This was from February 19th. 2016. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Praise him, Satan. This is Minister Paul, the watchman on the wall. It's 8.08 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Friday, February 19, 2016. My wife and I both had dreams last night, and I feel led to share this message and ask others to come, please, and be in prayer agreement for me. I'm going to go in brief details over my dream real quick. Something has just struck me on this video. There's a person over here. I'm just going to point this out. Does everybody see that I'm on my Facebook in uh, February of 2016 and all these tabs up are about uh, Isaiah 11. I see Chrysler Building, Donald Trump. There's a person over here. It kind of put a quicken in my spirit. Like It's representing a threat that wants to enter the building. 
And I also see over here on the right, I've never noticed this before, there's an open door. There's an open door into the building. Just pointing out things I see. So let, this is really short. Let's have a listen. In this dream, I was in a state building working in the control room. I received a radio call that there was a, a gun, a semi-automatic near the front door of the state building in plain sight and people were walking around it and over it. It was a semi-automatic handgun loaded. After I received this call on the radio, I notified my partner in the control room. This is a building that I actually did work in in downtown Sacramento. It's a state building. And then I received a call on the landline control room phone in there, which is only for people inside the building can use it. It doesn't receive outside calls. And this is how it was in real life there. And it was a, it was a woman that it was, would not say anything to me. She just called after the radio call about the gun by the front entrance. She called and she wouldn't identify herself or ask any questions. And after me pressing her, she identified herself as Judge Sweeney. And then I notified her. Judge Sweeney. So I'm in this state building and I get a radio call that there's a handgun and I believe it was a 45, amazingly, at the entrance to the door, and people were just walking by it. And then I get an internal landline call from a female saying she's Judge Sweeney, complaining about how everybody's just walking by this gun. That's where we're at right now. I'm my partner. And I immediately woke up and I asked my wife if she had any, she was already awake. I asked my uh, wife if she had any odd dreams last, last night, night that she couldn't explain. explain. And she said, no, no, not last night. And then she said, right here, February 19th. Now I'm going to explain a dream my wife had that same night of February 19th. Have a listen. No, wait. It's just coming back to me right now. This was just about half hour ago. And I'm not going to go into the details of her dream. It's kind of graphic and brutal, but it involved her visiting a morgue, and there were dead bodies everywhere of all ages, including children. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, it's just too disturbing. It doesn't need to be shared. And then She didn't really want to talk about that. But the same night of having this warning dream about federal and state buildings and this female judge in New York, she's also on the same exact night, she's having a dream about dead babies. She's walking through this morgue and there are all these dead babies. Now look at the law they just passed in New York. Then I come out here to record the video, and at 7.37, I get an incoming phone call. 737? That's for Sister Jennifer in New York, who got a word on 737. Some guy, probably, probably the CIA, if you're not, harassing me. So I blocked that number, the call came from New York. And then I went to make a video in the Bronx, New York, the landline. Call here at 7.30 in the morning on my cell phone. And when I called them back, they began to harass me. I recorded the call. I don't feel led to share it. So then, um, I went to get an image to record a video for YouTube on these streams. streams and I just, and I just start, search, I started searching in, uh, state and federal judges. And a female judge did pop up as a newly sworn federal female judge in New York. And I do not think any of this is random. I really feel led to call other people to prayer. In fact, we should be fasting and praying right now. I believe that the Holy Spirit allowed me and my wife to see that, uh, 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 to sound this alarm, that there are federal and state judges in danger right now. And the buildings they're in and the occupants and we're to pray for them. 
I believe that, and I'm not going to say who, but I believe that someone in the high uh, level of government, at the highest level of government, is in cleanup mode to hide actions they've taken that have been illegal, and we've saw two judges die already, and I believe... And you know who that one would be at the highest level of government in cover-up mode and cleanup mode? Obama, 44th president. Matter of fact, he's still president when I'm getting this morning back in uh, 2016 of February. The others are also at risk and in danger and we should be praying for them. God bless you all. Let's be in prayer over this today. This okay, is so that's the end. Now let me show you something real quick. I'm going to go down to the description box. I searched federal, I searched uh, federal court judges in New York and you know who I found Donald Trump's older sister I mean I took this dream so seriously on Facebook back then that I was making attempts to call her that I was simply going to tell her look you may or may not want to believe this but you're in danger mm -hmm. and, uh, and it, it's through a warning from God and you should take it very seriously and so are federal and state buildings and Trump's entire family. This was before the man had even won. That's how serious I took this. So let's go to one of these links here. I'll put a link to this entire video for you to, to check out. But So this judge... Oh, look, they changed the link. How sweet. Let me pause again. Okay, remember yesterday I was talking about queens and kings and how that area looked all familiar? So, meet Marianne Trump, Donald Trump's older sister. I'm going to tell you, she, it was, she was a federal judge that sat on the, the, in New Jersey and also in New York on the United States Court of Appeals in the 3rd District. I, her former name was, look, Trump Barry. Barry Satoro, anyone? Now, let's go forward here and let's read some of this. She, I'll tell you some facts I know. She was born on April 5th, 1937, which is quite amazing. I mentioned this before, my mom's birthday. But look, it's 37, 1937. So, and I'm just, these are signs I see as warnings. I mean, so I've been warning about April 2019. I've been told that when I see this number 37 and the, the, the handgun was a 45. Her brother became the 45th president. She's a United States Circuit Judge, United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit. And uh, she was appointed by Bill Clinton. She was appointed in New Jersey by Ronald Reagan. You just cannot make this stuff up. There I'll just put a I'll, I'll just put a link to this and I'll end this video, but the warning was, just so you can see this, the warning was several months before Donald Trump was even elected that federal and state buildings, Trump and his family and judges would come in danger and that we were to fast and pray over this, specifically in New York. Fast forward three years later, a year after I had made this video, she decided she was going inactive. Someone else replaced her in her federal seat, and she went inactive approximately a year later, after this video was originally made. Perhaps they did take some warning series. I have no idea. But let's remember, they have now... New York has now all of a sudden got all these watchmen pronouncing judgment on New York based on what? The killing of babies, which is the dream my wife had. 